sun is shining, the tank is clean, and we're eating some cake today. Hi everyone, welcome back to day four of my bakery tour of London and day six or seven of Vlogmas, can't remember now. Today we are heading to two gluten-free, 100% gluten-free places again today. We're going to Pearl and Groove, which is a wonderful cake shop that I have been to before on this YouTube channel. And we're also going to Vita Bakery, which is gluten-free and vegan cakes and cupcakes. So a bit of a sweet day today for you guys, but don't worry, I'm gonna be out here eating it, really doing the hard yards for you guys. Heading to Pearl and Groove now, which is in Clerkenwell. The closest train station for me was Chancery Lane and then it's like a 15 minute walk. But Pearl and Groove itself is situated in Exmouth, Exmouth Market? I don't know how to say things in this goddamn country. Exmouth Market? Look, I don't know, but that's where we're heading now. I personally think Pearl and Groove do like one of the best cakes I've ever had. Best gluten-free cakes ever. I hear they do wedding cakes, birthday cakes, all sorts, but I'll show you when we get there. I actually was on the Instagram this morning and they have mini chocolate Yule Logs. So I don't know if that was for an order or if that's something we're gonna see, but I'm excited. have been bought. This is the Earl Grey one with a beautiful edible rose petal on top. <laughs> also got a chocolate and I don't know if you can see our little supply there but I've got chocolate, hazelnut, raspberry, white chocolate and raspberry and a whole little mini Yule Log. The ones that I saw on um, their Instagram so I'm glad they were actually selling them today but I'm gonna give this one a go now. Cheers. Perfect Thursday breakfast. <laughs> so soft, mm. so light, pretty moist. Moist. This is Earl Grey, like you know the tea. It's really delicious. It's like vanilla. You get that sort of floral taste as well. I'm gonna eat the of the top. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Gold sparkles on top. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Perfect Thursday breakfast. Honestly. Best, one of the best places to get cakes if you are gluten free. They also do, I think, dairy free and some refined sugar free as well. Not the ones I had. Now, we're gonna do a wee detour and we're gonna head to Italy, which I have been to before, but I wanted to show Emily home with some of the delicious gluten free things that you can get at the grocery store in Italy. So uh, that's where we're heading to now. And then after that, Vita Bakery. wanted to also mention Humble Dough. Humble Dough is a place that I've been to in the past and thought was 100% gluten free, <laughs> which isn't necessarily wrong because none of their ingredients, I believe, contain gluten. However, they have got a sign and on their website it says the same, that if you look at their allergy symbol, I'll see if I can get a photo, everything, every single item has a traces of gluten statement. Now I don't really know why this is, but I do have a guess. And this might be because they use a shared kitchen or a kitchen that they can't confirm is gluten free. However, before I knew this, I have been in there a couple of times and when asking if this is suitable for a celiac or if it's 100% gluten free, I've always been reassured that it is absolutely fine for me. So I just wanted to mention it because I have suggested it in the past, but it is one of those ones where it's totally up to you what you decide to do. But I'd also be interested in your thoughts on things like that, like whether you would eat there if you're a celiac or if you'd stay away. But yeah, 
Just thought I'd mention. I'm just walking back home now from Vita Bakery. They always have such a lovely cupcake selection. I went for vanilla because I'm boring, but it has the little donut on top and I love that. <laughs> Definitely bought that one with my eyes. They've also bought out a bunch of like bake at home kits that you can do. Oh, just crossing the road, just crossing the road, just crossing the road, just crossing the road. Don't vlog and cross the road at the same time. Thanks. I think they come by mail as well. I'm just gonna head home now and eat something savory because while I am a huge sweet tooth, I will admit this week has worn me down. It's caked me out a bit. <laughs> so I need something savory before I have my next cupcake. See you soon. I just love our end of the day debriefs. Got my cup of tea. Hope you brought a cup of tea with you. Let's talk about where we went today. Well, firstly, I actually got handed sort of throw in two um, packets of the lateral flow tests on the corner of my street today. They are just chucking these out at people because of the new um, the new variant, which is not great, but you know, at least we can get these easily again because it kind of got a little bit difficult there. I didn't actually hear the news, but I think this morning or yesterday or two days ago, they announced some new like sort of COVID restriction type things if people can work from home and stuff like that which in all honesty was like a, like you know it's yeah it's not it's not the best thing to hear i'd hate to have to go back into another lockdown like it would just be yeah no nah. but if it's necessary it's necessary it's just i really hope that it doesn't get to that point again and i'm sure a lot of you guys would feel the same but we visit the gluten-free bakeries while we can so First place I went to, Italy. I got my favorite crisps, they're tomato flavored. I think tomato flavored crisps are the best thing ever and I love Europe for doing that. Next, I got some pasta. I have tried this before, it's absolutely delicious and it, this one is the cheapest, it was only £1.90. It's not a lot, but it was the cheapest. Um, the shape is Riso Integrale. Oh, I don't think that's the shape, I think that just means rice pasta. The shape, is this the shape? Dal seme alla tavola? Is that the shape? I don't know. But it's nice. It's like, it's like two little ends of a scroll. If that makes sense. And I got my favorite cookies, my Grisby cookies. They're like chocolate on the outside, melted chocolate on the middle. Got these last time. I'm actually going to wrap these up and put it under the tree for myself because I will eat these in one sitting. Not that that's a bad thing, I just want to do that on Christmas day. Now from Vita Bakery, I got a cupcake. Look at it in its little house. It's just the cutest thing ever. I have had a bite of this. I wasn't gonna, but uh, the little donut on top is just, it's too much. It's just too cute. So he eaten half of that. I'm gonna finish it. There is just no way you can tell those cupcakes are vegan or gluten free. So if you're in the Brooklyn area, just pop in, grab a cupcake. Why wouldn't you? It's also really close to the Burger Co, which I didn't go to, which was hard for me, but I have lunch at home. <laughs> the Burger Co is that vegan burger place. They do have like gluten buns, but you can also ask for gluten free buns and everything else on their menu is gluten free. So the fillings of the burger, the sides, not one milkshake actually, maybe two milkshakes. Check the milkshakes and order a gluten free bun, you're absolutely fine. And also they're really good with celiac disease. They like change their gloves, just make sure that uh, they know that they need to. Fantastic place. Although. And finally, we went to Pearl and Groove. I did obviously already have a cake this morning for breakfast. But this is the other one I bought and I kind of got this for me, kind of got this for James. 
although he won't miss that this is the hazelnut chocolate and hazelnut cake and I'm, I had this last time, but it definitely didn't have big chocolate chunks in it last time. But it does this time, so I'm a little bit jealous. I might say that I got it for us to half. <laughs> Two more fantastic 100% gluten-free places that just like make my heart happy. And I hope that if you're in London, you're able to visit those as well. I'm actually thinking <laughs> sometimes next year, not anytime soon, but sometime next year, I want to try to hit every single gluten-free bakery in, in a day. I think it would be a little fun. <laughs> Let me know if you would like to come along. Tomorrow, we're having a little bit of a departure from Bakery Week and I'm actually putting it on hold because I am going to a market in Winchester, which is somewhere, somewhere south west of London, I believe, but I'm going with one of my best friends who is also a New Zealander who's living over here. And we're gonna Christmas market it the heck up. So obviously I'm gonna take you with me for that. But I thought before I go to stay a little bit more on topic with the YouTube channel, we will do like a few like gluten-free market tips, like how to survive markets as a gluten-free person to make it maybe a little bit more useful for you. <laughs> I think my lunch is burning, so I'm gonna go. I hope you have had a lovely day. I hope you have felt very jealous of the cakes that I've eaten. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow for a market. Woo!